Happy New Year to everyone. Um, we haven't been around for a bit. We took a bit of a break over Christmas. Um, but we are back. This week we're doing an exciting project on the Arctic. Um, and we've got some friends coming around today to share the project with us. They're doing the same. So I said, why don't you come around and I'll set things up and um, they can join us. So the light is not great. Hopefully it looks okay on here. I've got the lights on, but it's like kind of dark outside and dreary and rainy again. Um, but I'll show you what we've got set up so far. So I've got a table over here and I've got the maps so the children can have a little look at the maps. I've got a little bit I can read if I can get them to sit down long enough. Um, there is a couple of word searches, some colouring to do, um, lots and lots of books. There's some traditional Inuit clothing. Um, the children can pick a person and dress them up um, with some glue and bits. I thought that might be quite cool. I'm not sure if they'll get around to that or not. It just depends. Over here, I've set up the tough tray. Um, and we have got, I hope you can see this, so we've made some homemade snow. I'll put the recipe below for that. Uh, we've just got a cake uh, base thing with some Playmobil men and some stones and a blue food bag which is supposed to be water. I've actually got some ice in the fridge as well, um, some ice blocks we use a biscuit tray for. Um, hi, so yeah. Hi, oh, you say hi. Say so hi. hi everyone, say happy new year. Hi, hi, happy new year. Hi, happy new year. Good try Ronnie. Oh, you say bye bye already. <laughs> so. Uh, that's the tough tray set up and I'm going to put like I said the ice cubes out in a while when our friends come because otherwise they'll be melted by the time we do anything and in the boys bedroom last night I set up an igloo just using a tent and a couple of sheets um, I was hoping to make one out of um, plastic milk bottles but I kind of underestimated how many I'd need for that so we're gonna have to do that another time and I've just popped some furry blankets in there and bits um, there's a little dog that stands put in there. Um, I've set up some Ar an Arctic word map just there, um, just so the children can have a look at the words. Um, we've made a fire with some fish, and that comes off, and they can hang the fish up there. Um, and there's the fire, and also just a little fishing station which I made with um, magnets, and popped some magnets on the fish, and hopefully you can actually fish. So yeah, so they should be here soon, hopefully. Um, and I've also made some hot chocolate in the slow cooker. I'll also uh, put that recipe down below as well and it smells really good. So what I was thinking is that hopefully the children will actually sit, I found a couple of YouTube videos, excuse the lighting, I found a couple of YouTube videos um, on the Arctic for children um, and I'm hoping if I can get them to sit down and um, have a hot chocolate on the sofa when they all first come um, we can watch a couple of those videos just as an introduction and maybe I'll try and get some reading in as well depending on how well they're um, doing so and then they can just be free to play and explore hopefully home and I've just done a big clear up or operate uh, and I've just done a big clear up operation um, because it was rather a mess in here but they did have fun they did use the um, role play area for a bit and the tough tray um, I've cleaned it all up now the thing is as you know we've got a small flat so I'm not gonna leave out too long because there's just no room to do anything else Stanley said he'd finished in it and Ronnie wasn't playing in it so it's all gone back now um, so Stan and I are gonna sit and do some reading and Ronnie if he wants to join I think he's playing with his Cars book at the minute, his busy book. So, Stan and I are going to do some reading about the Arctic. The other thing I was meant to say to you because I, I showed you earlier the printouts from Twinkle and I had said that I wasn't going to renew my subscription, but I decided that I just couldn't be without it in the end. Um, 
I just realized I use it for so much you know some of the printouts we use like these things I mean I know I could make them at a push but it's just so nice having the resources there so you've got that word mat uh, and the Inuit um, clothing dressing up yeah you could make them all but I just decided that I didn't want to be without it any longer um, I think it cost to renew it cost 40 something pounds um, so it wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be, um, which is a bonus anyway, because I thought it was, cause someone was saying that it had gone up to like nearer £100. Um, but yeah, so for that amount of money for a year, actually, with my print subscription as well, like my ink subscription, which is a couple of quid a month um, for 100 copies, um, it's totally worth having it, really. Um, so yeah, I just made the decision that I just wanted to keep it and um, and go from there. But obviously everyone's different. Um, but yeah, I use it too much to not have it, I think. I love this hot chocolate. It's a cold cup. I love it. It's my Christmas cup. going to do a little research on an arctic animal he's chosen the arctic fox so he's got all of the books which I'll bookmark earlier for a different animal so he's just got to find the information and he's going to do a little bit of research and he's got a little sheet there uh, which is a description of it and it's got some prompts and things um, and he's going to end up writing that but he's just going to literally write some notes at the moment and he's going to see if he can use the books on his own basically to have a little research for a bit and I'm going to probably try and sit down and do a food shop on my phone because we have no food or well we do have food but we just don't have much fresh stuff or fresh fruit and vegetables so I kind of need to do that so I'm leaving Stan to it for a few minutes to research that Excuse me, Carrot, please. It's really cold. Right, so we've got. So your questions here, then, aren't they? It's always best to go and see your doctor. So Stan's done a great job of his animal fact file. He's really worked hard on this. He doesn't always do all this much writing at once, but he hasn't done any for a while, so. It was good for him to just sit and concentrate. And he's done a lovely picture. I think we're going to loop to the local shop because um, my shop is booked for Thursday. So it's a couple of days yet because obviously it's busy after Christmas. Um, we just need a couple of bits. I'm kind of fed up with trying to just rake something together every night. So I think we could do it getting out for a bit. It's actually going to get dark soon though it's half three. I do not know what to cook. Do you have any ideas? No. Me neither. So I decided to do a curry for tea in the end, a really easy one. I'm literally just using, yes, one of these jars or two of those jars. Um, I'm going to add a few spices in of my own and then what I do is I chop some potatoes up, um, boil them and I fry it together with a bit of cumin, uh, ground cumin, a bit of garlic um, and a little bit of spinach which I keep frozen in the freezer. Uh, which I've showed you before I think, let me just show you. So I buy a great big bag of spinach and I put it into smaller bags and that way when you get it out you have your frozen leaf which you can then crush into quite small pieces which I find really good with children because my boys are a bit funny with uh, spinach um, but I'm a bit funny with it if it's a bit stringy as well so I prefer it in smaller uh, quantities and this works really well you can just take what you want crush it up and then pop it back in the freezer so what I normally do when I'm cooking if the boys are happy and um, not helping me cook of course which sometimes happens but it sounds tired today um, is I normally catch up on vlogs and today I'm going to go for parsnips and parsimony and um, catch up with their latest video so there's the boys tea so we've got some of the potato sagaloo, which obviously isn't authentic sagaloo, it's just what I make. But um, it's, uh, yeah, and they've got curry and rice, and they've just got it in a bowl, which they find easy. And they'll have a poppadom or two with it. Does that look yummy? And Daddy's has to go in the oven, because poor Daddy's going to be late. Yes! Oh, good. We have a nice, clean kitchen. Sue's so dinner's in the oven, so he'll just wash his plate up when he's done. But I like a clean kitchen. That's the one thing, and I had made a lot of mess. So... I was hoping to not have to vacuum till tomorrow. Oops, I'm just trying to get the tripod in. 
making some clunking sounds. Um, so I was hoping to not vacuum until tomorrow, but obviously we had rice for dinner and you know what happens with rice. Basically, you can't see the extent of it, but there is a lot of rice on the floor. So I'm gonna give it a quick vacuum. The boys are playing Lego in the bedroom, so it's about what time is it? 10 to six. So we've kind of got finished and cleaned up early-ish tonight. Um, because I definitely want to give the bar boys a bath and settle down for the evening and probably edit this video, hopefully. So, yes, I'm just going to give it a quick vacuum, I think. So I'm just running the boys a bath now. Finally calmed down, they've been running around for the last like half an hour. So I'm gonna sit them in a the bath, hopefully they're gonna calm down, you never know. Um, and then we're probably gonna do a little bit more reading about Arctic animals um, and just chill for a bit before bedtime. But let me know if there's any um, videos you particularly want me to do. I thought I might do um, like a morning in the life of a home ed mum or something like that. There's an old version uh, from like a year ago, um, but I thought maybe I could do an updated version of that. But let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you um, want to see. But thanks for watching and we'll see you for our next video. Bye!